hello guys welcome back to my channel angela mudavi art in today's video i am going to do a collage and what is a collage you ask based on google a collage is an art form that is made up of overlapping pieces of material such as photographs fabric colored and textured paper and other types of mixed media to make a painting so that's what i'm going to be doing today um and as you can see here i have um a, a board these are these are actually just um some covers like hard cover covers of some books that i took off the books um and um I am going to be using all sort of all sorts of papers like these papers here. These are some papers I I cut out I cut out of some uh, books that I had, and I'm just gonna resize them and put them on. As you can see, I've already put one here, and uh, I can even use these um, these uh, wrapping paper. Um, I will also use napkins so um this is just a practice that this is not gonna be anything um I'm hoping that it turn out good but it's just a practice practice and it if it turns out really good then I I'll try to replicate it and make a bigger painting um this is my first time doing uh, a collage and I hope it will turn out good so right now i'm just uh, preparing my uh, my glue um again i'm just gonna use regular elmas glue school glue uh for now because this is practice and um after i lay down the collage i will use some paints to cover you know to to um make the collage pop um with this these colors so i have uh, a red a uh, purple and a white and i might also use some gray because i like neutral neutral colors on my paintings so guys let's go ahead and get started i will also be using some scrapers like this little scrape here i'm gonna use it just to um make sure that i move the paint around um yeah so let's go ahead and get started i'm not gonna really be talking too much but i will kind of try to explain what i'm doing i also have some scissors that i'm gonna be cutting the papers with um these scissors and um if I have anything else that I decide to use, I will definitely tell you and show you how I'm using it. So, let's, let's get started. Enjoy the music. Uh, where I'm not talking, I will put some music on for you guys to enjoy. Um, so, basically... All I do here is I'm going to take the glue, put it on here with a brush, and then take the collage. Decide which side you want to be on top, and then um, put glue in the back. on the back of that paper make sure you put a, a good amount of glue and then stick it on on here you can have big uh, papers small papers all kinds of papers and then when you do that get either something smooth like a credit card or any card and just smooth it out to take all the bubbles out just like that and now what I've done on these um, the base 
the the you know the the converse i want to call it converse but the the this here i just took one of the um of the cover it's a really hard they're like hard uh, hard cardboard and then i took another one from another book and i just taped it in the back and uh, just just for practice this is not something that i'm looking to sell or anything but if it turns out good i'm gonna frame it nice and i'm gonna i'm gonna put it on my wall so these are just I'm gonna try to do this first and then I'll do this based on what colors I have on here. As you can see, you don't have to have the pictures the pictures like you know uh, you don't have to worry about how you cut these unless there's really something you want to show like a writing or anything that you want to show you can kind of cut it out and and uh, leave it that way when you fix all your all your collage then you, you can show it but I don't have anything in particular really that I want to, I wanted to show like a writing that I want people to read or anything, so. And you can wet your collage. You can put your you can put your papers in a in water in a bucket of water like that, just so they'll be softer before you lay them down. You can even just make your you can make your um you can make your glue a little bit um, wet. That way it will stick nicely on the paper. Try very hard not to have any bubbles on your collage. Because this that's not gonna be good when when it dries out. Just make sure that you smooth them down. Alright, let's see what else we can put here. And you know the the collage itself doesn't have to be ultra bright unless you want your unless you want your picture you know unless you want your your painting to be completely bright then you can make your collage with bright papers because when you uh, reveal it from you know underneath with a the paint then you want to see different colors underneath I don't know if that makes any sense but let's say you want your whatever collage you put down when when you put the paint I'll show you later but when you put the paint if you want it to pop out then just go ahead and put colorful papers uh, down I'm trying to go with the neutrals here. Lots of neutrals. Can even put like you know note, note, um, sticky note on here like that. Again, this is just whatever you really want to put down here. Can overlap them or you can just I don't like to overlap them though so. 
micro disc port is really nice. Side, uh, can actually just be around it kind of the same I'm just gonna try to put this is so fun this is so so fun to work on this it's very fun This one doesn't have any any um, red on it. I'm gonna try to put this napkin on there. I know some people call some countries, some people call it Soviet. Now, this is gonna be a challenge because it gets really wet real fast. Maybe it's not a challenge at all. The only thing that we have to do after this, we're going to have to wait for it to dry before we can do anything else. But we're going to leave some uh, white parts. We're not going to cover everything. It's just this because this is a practice and I don't want to waste my paint and gloss medium on it because it's just practice so we'll put this on it and let it sit to dry Okay, so this one is a little dry, but I'm trying to dry it uh, like the, the uh, napkins did not dry very well. So I'm just going to run the um, 
the hot the, the blow dryer over just for a, a couple minute a minute or two just to make sure that it's completely dry and low not too high on low just pretty much the uh, the napkins or the paper towels and once that is dry then we will start painting and I think it's pretty much dry now yeah I'm going to use this sponge brush I'm going to use this sponge brush to just apply the paint all over. And I'm going to try my my fluid paint first. If they don't look good, the next time I do one of these collages, I am going to use the tube direct from the tube. But I think because this, I want this painting to be transparent. I don't know. I, you know, it, it can, we can still use transparent if we use straight from the tube. But so this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna just pour amount, a little bit amount of on there. Some over here, uh, over here in the middle, and again I can. You know, I can uh, do it as I go. I don't know how it's gonna turn out, but you wanna you wanna make sure that your paint, your collages are showing and underneath. You don't wanna cover them completely. And since you're gonna have a, uh, I'm gonna have a few, a few more, um, layers of this. I'm not worried about it covering everything. I'm gonna have quite a few layers. I actually do like how that paper, how textured that paper, the, this here is right here. Nice and textured. Some of the collages you really want to, um, you don't want it to show completely. And I think really what you are supposed to do here is wait until it dries because now My paint is mixing. And based on how you want your painting to look, you can go in and with a dry cloth and wipe off some of the areas that you don't want or dry uh, paper towel like this just like here.
Okay, we'll let this dry, come back for more. Another layer. All right. Maybe I should put a little bit of yellow. can actually just blow dry it and dry it nice then we'll put a different color on there okay so I dried this out a little bit but now I'm gonna use some not a hundred uh, percent black, but it is uh, like indigo, um, very dark blue. I'm just going to use it down here. And then I'll uh, brush it up like I'm making trees, but not really trees. So what I'm going to do is let's go ahead and finish up this layer and because this video is much longer than I anticipated um, and I just really wanted to go step by step. I don't want to do too much time lapse. Once this layer is finished, I'll let it dry and I will do um, part two of this. But right now, um, I'm going to stop here. This is the part one of this uh, uh, pay, uh, uh, collage painting. And then I'll come back and do part two. So guys, here's a sneak, sneak peek of what's to come. And it should be up on Saturday, the uh, April the 13th. Thank you so much for being here. And subscribe, share, like comment and hit the notification bell so you can be notified when i post all my videos thank you friends thank you family and thank you for supporting my channel um by watching these videos i will see you in the next video god bless bye